Alright, here's a little tour of my toolbox and area where I, well, mainly live most of my life. Bag for all my work stuff. My Cornwell Creeper. Snap on stool. My little entertainment center. Um, my Zoom, it's player dock, satellite radio, wallet, ring, glasses, obviously. My charger for my IR tools. And I have to get my own little bit of porn, so. Miscellaneous stuff. Here's my electric, well, digital air gauge. Fifth wheel puller. Coat jacket. My pry bars. Brake adjusters. Valco removal tool. Miscellaneous little stuff stuck on the side. This is a Cornwell Pro Series. It's the second grade worth of toolbox from Cornwell. After this is Custom, which is the really big ones that come with all the accessories. You can get top and side and anything you want. I have this because my company decided to buy me a toolbox because I went to school. Since they couldn't pay for any of the schooling for legal reasons. Um, didn't go Snap-on because I don't like my Snap-on dealer. He's kind of an asshole. Cornwell dealer, very nice. So I went Cornwell. In the top drawer, and these are latching, so there's no sliding this way or all the way over there. It's just lifted up a little. You may know us from Menards or something. So all my goodies. This is all Cornwell. All my sockets are snap on except for my impacts over here these are all Pittsburgh's which they are very good and I wish I knew the prices of snap arms since all my sockets came in a set from school and I bought them in bulk at half price so like I talked to my snap arm dealer this set right here in snap arm is $800 just for the impacts not gonna happen anymore this right here Mainly used for drain plug removals. You get all different sizes. Inverted. The Sunex. I got that through my Cornwell. Snap on Craftsman. Snap on Gear Wrench. Pittsburgh. Craftsman. Gear Wrench. Snap on. My favorites are Gear Wrenches. And, to be honest, my Craftsman's. I don't know why I don't want to care for my snap arms, but I don't. Miscellaneous stuff I use all the time. Quarter inch extensions, three eighths, half inches, and some other miscellaneous tool for these cool throughs. Got for five dollars, so that's why I have it. Tape measure. These are all my reductions, all my swivels of different kinds, DLT stickers, brake gauge, tread depth gauge. These are all five points, six points, whatever, sorry. These are the 12 points, then these are those. I have to keep oiling all my snap on impacts because they like to rust. Pittsburgh's don't want rust. Figured that out, I don't know why. These are my filter removals sockets from Maco. That was more useful when I was an auto tech. I'm a diesel tech. I went to school for a diesel tech. Just auto tech was the first field I got into. Um, well, these are all the quarter inch snap arms, three eighths snap arms. Same over here. The on sale my quarter inch snap arms I bought after school. They were on sale and they were four hundred dollars for this and this and the ratchet and extension and swivel but my OCD cannot handle not having the sockets all stay the same I was desperate so I just went Pittsburgh over there and they're not going to be changing anytime soon here's my wrench drawer mainly empty but also full these are all snap on 
These are open and boxed in. These are gear wrench ratcheting. They're all straight. No selection on them. But they're that was a hundred dollars for that one. I traded the my Cornwall dealer deals with a lot of gear wrenches, so he had a deal for these for a hundred dollars. And these are the gear wrenches. They are angled and they have a selector. I love those. I just need to get those in standard instead of metric because most trucks are metric. I mean standard on the frames. These are the snap arm open and boxed in metrics. Line wrenches, rarely use those. In this drawer we got my power tools. I run IR electrics. This is the half Half inch impact, it produces 750 constant, 1200 initial breakaway. Half inch drill, 3 8 impact, 180 foot pounds. Flashlight, drill bits, adapter for the drill, lube for the impacts, adapters for air tools. My Mac impact, I did have snap on, I just did not like it. Just wasn't powerful enough, just, I didn't like it. So I went Mac, then I got a little mad at Mac because when I got to my new job, Cornwall has one completely identical in every possible way to the Mac for half the price. Same torque, same everything, so I don't know what was going on there. Made these to do trailers and glad hands. I love snap barn, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Here's my snap barn air ratchet, Cornwall angle grinder this is gearless this is all air veins and that's just a Pittsburgh grind um, cutoff wheel I found after three years sitting in a box there's my air gauge that's all my main power tools the big boys uh, adapter head so I can put them on to this bar well, no, this is an extension. I can put it onto that bar or add a swivel, whatever I need, the combination I need to. I can get a longer bar if I need to. These are all 12, 12 points. Here's a breaker bar. That's Pittsburgh. This one's snap arm. Snap arm. This is just one of those little removal tools. Not removal tool, a little grabber tool. This thing I love. This is my gear wrench in case you need the part number. Serpentine belt removal kit. You can pick your adapter you need from all these different styles to those to these. You put on that those in here. Then you can put this bar on here at any angle and it's ratcheting. So works really well. And luckily I found out back to these. These are Huskies. I bought this for five dollars at a pawn shop. That goes with that tool, but it's go through style. It's the same style as this gear wrench. So I can actually use all my my husky tools onto that. Same with the extension and all their adapters. So that's pretty cool for me. My torque wrench, it's a pile of crap. I don't use it because it never works. And that's probably why, because it's a Pittsburgh. Some people have luck, I didn't. Chisel, um, gasket scraper, a pry tool, which is a rare old spike I modified. Spark, um, oil drain, drain plug removal, so you don't get full oil. That was more useful when I was Loop Tech, not so much anymore into my what I like to call the persuasion drawer hammers traditional claw hammer snap arm got it from my dad Pittsburgh Pittsburgh punch set from snap arm brushes hood prop tool random brushes caging bolts for brake chambers oil filter wrenches of different styles 
big one, shitty one, but never use it. Big pipe wrench, good for adjusting the tie rods on semis. The, I don't know where to put it, drawer. Over here we got my spray cans of lubes and stuff I need to use. Here we got my screwdrivers. They're all Mac and I absolutely love them. Perfect. Love them. Um, pry tool, quarter inch adapter, picks. This is my Cornwell bit set. Lots of different style bits. The ones you see missing are actually in the back of this for storage. Lots of different styles. These I got from Great Northern Tools. They're, this one's mainly the useful one. Sorry for my hand in the way. I can put the bits into this one and it's a little quarter, little ratchet. It's a little quarter inch ratchet. Very useful. This is a ratcheting by the way. Love that. Make sure I get this thing down. There we go. Now my plier drawer. Sonix, snap arm, snap arm, snap arm, Sonix, snap arm. I don't know what that is. I know what tool it is, I just don't know what brand. Vice grip, vice grip. Snap arm vice grip, um, pipe wrench of some kind from Snap arm. These are Nipix. Better show you one of those Nipix channel locks. I got them from Cornwell, of course. Body clip removal tools. I got those from Matco. Um, I use them for other things besides body clips. Mainly electrical connectors. Um, hose cutter. Open that up. So it cuts at a precisely 90 degree angle if you got it in there correctly. Useful for doing a lot of airlines that we do here. My information drawer. Binders of stuff I've been collecting. Empty. Empty. Alright, now way over here. This is my electrical drawer. My my D D O M. My torque my torch. This is a zip tie gun. It tightens and then cuts it. You can set the how much how much you want to tighten it. You can do normal ones then heavy duty ones. Well, that tool's used constantly. Can't live without that thing. Test light, dielectric grease, cheap dielectric grease, tape. This is used to put wires into looms. Wire stripper. This is a cutter crimper. You can crimp insulated, non insulated, and cut them. This is for cutting big gauge wire. This is for crimping down electrical terminals. Terminal pick set. Hang on. Hang on a sec. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is my soldering kit. This is from Eastwood. Got that off eBay for $35. Better than some things I try to go cheaper, some things I don't. This is my mainly my miscellaneous drawer. Lists, pins, glasses, scissors, random shit. Now, here's the boxes and stuff I don't know where to put. This right here is my Mac spark plug removal kit with double swivels in three sizes, no swivels, one size, one swivel, three sizes. Yeah. I might have said that wrong, but that was useful when I was auto tech, not so much as diesel no more. But can't get rid of it. It was on sale when it was $100. Here's 
right here we got torque sticks. That's from Harbor. These are just more random cheap bits that I don't care about. See if we can get this stuff to fit back in there again. This is a um, um, hemp. Damn it! Can't impact driver. Sorry. I am in here just from my dad. Torch. This is a little drill set. You can use chucks, but you can put that on a three eighths or a quarter inch one. Useful in tight spaces. Here is extension bits. You can put those in. That was more useful as an auto tech, not so much for what I'm doing now. So like air filter cells useful. There's a back brace in there, earplugs, miscellaneous electrical stuff in there. Connectors. Yeah, I'll try to get it back in there. Yeah, I'm on. There we go. Anyways, that's the box. I will eventually get a top for it. Thank you very much. If you want any tool reviews, let me know. Leave me a comment or send me a message. Will do. Thank you. Have a good day.